Well, I have been working on a new video I'm going to edit, and I even have the lighting out. Um, I'm in the process of making a video with the GoPro and the, uh, you know, fancy light and stuff, uh, tearing this 2236 apart, but not quite done yet. Uh, hopefully next week or so I'll have that one up. But in the meantime, I have a few, uh, auction hauls, first auction hauls for the year. Actually, I bought some stuff in an auction before this, uh, a week before, but I haven't gone to get it yet because we had the big snowstorm and stuff. Um, so I'll do another video on that stuff, but this stuff's maybe a little more interesting. Uh, so I got two things, or kind of three things, I guess. Uh, the first of which is this very strange looking John Deere Gator. Uh, it's a Pro Gator 2030, and I've never seen one of these before. I'm guessing this is like it was a ground maintenance kind of thing. I got the back propped up, and that is heavy back. My dad has a like regular Gator from about this era, and it is nothing like this. This thing is HD, um, but it has a, a three-cylinder diesel in it, and. Interesting enough, I didn't know this was a thing. It actually has a five-speed manual transmission. Hydraulic dump and all that. But it's goofy looking. It needs some work. But uh, <clears throat> it was cheap. It was very, very cheap. So I'm going to fix it up and we're going to use it around the shop. It would be a good little kind of grounds maintenance vehicle for here. I'm guessing it's for maintaining like golf courses or you know, large properties like that. I've seen a lot of them have, uh, or several of them have a sprayer that you could swap the bed for. I'm guessing that's what this control panel was for here. That was for like pressure gauge. And this is all the switches to run the different functions in the sprayer. <coughs> I'm gonna take that out and put a radio in there and some light switches. Maybe build a little roof on it, but. Anyway, first things first, I gotta get it going, and uh, we'll go from there. Transmission and everything feels okay, shifting wise. I just need to get the motor running. I uh, need to go get some new battery cables for it tomorrow. These are uh, pretty shot, um, but it's interesting. It's actually not that old. It's really new for something to be here, despite it does look a little rough. Uh, I don't think it's going to be too bad to get fixed up. I mean, maybe attempt to find a grill or make an insert for that and put some new seats and it won't look that bad, really. But, uh, you know, definitely something a little different. But uh, definitely can use something like this around here if we can get it going. Put a sprayer and do some things like that. Now, the more interesting thing is this. This is, I believe, a 1971 Jeep CJ5. Let me get a little a picture. There you go. And uh, this is what I really wanted from this auction, and I did end up getting it. My great grandpa had uh, three of these of various years. One of them looked, ex I know it looked exactly like this. Um, but it was a different color. So, I'm pretty excited for this. Um, it is loose, it turns over. And, uh, should have it probably running, like, within the next couple days. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of a video on it. Getting it running, and then try to get some tires put on here, and <coughs> take it for a little ride. Now obviously it needs some stuff, like it doesn't have any seats in it and the tailgate's missing and stuff, but it's neat to me. And it wasn't too expensive, it's a little beat up, but not too rotted, not perfect, but not too rotted. I was able to stand on this floorboard, and I am decently heavy, so can't be too bad. I've seen a couple little rust spots, but I've seen worse. That fender's pretty, both those fenders pretty beat up, but uh, as a whole, I'm excited to play with it. I mean, 
Um, and it has a tow bar, so I'm thinking if I can get it going, registered and such, I'll actually um, just build hitches on the back of all the equipment. I'll just pull the Jeep behind me and uh, drive the Jeep back home to get the next thing instead of having to drag a diesel pickup around. I actually have a tow bar for my 92 2500 diesel, but this would be a little bit easier to tow around, I think. But other thing I'm thinking, I want to get it built up and get it be kind of nice. I mean, there's nothing to these things. And I know it's a Jeep, so it can't be impossible to get anything for it. So I kind of want to go through it and build it and have it where I can take it to Colorado with me. Now, the other thing I got with this <clears throat> is... Uh, Got another chassis. I know it's dark, but I got another chassis and with axles. It even has the little grill. Um, it's a little rough though. It's definitely not the most. Well, not that bad, I guess. One spot of this frame is kind of rough. I, anyway, I'm thinking I could either box it or strap this frame and I got a couple ideas for this one if I can find a tub for it um, we'll see I don't know nothing nothing Im immediate but if I come across a tub I will definitely be uh, curious to play with it at some point but in the meantime I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one going and Hopefully that going and we'll go from there I guess.